Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All that breathing paid off. Heartbeat. It went up. We've been hiking in, I mean, we're a mile in. Just started, it's been kind of storming. Wasn't forecasted, but that's how the mountains are. And uh, we had a, a strike like probably a half mile out, pretty close. Got it on film, thought it was pretty cool. Kept hiking, we're in these dense trees. And I was kind of looking for a spot to maybe sit down, wait it out since there's clear skies in the distance. And uh, as we were, this lightning strike struck up the hill just right up there like I mean it felt like it was right there probably I don't know maybe 200 feet 300 feet away um, just like flash and just like felt like just a, like a I don't even know how to describe it like a massive sub hit and then um, yeah it was ridiculously loud and so we decided to try it down in the trees here take off our packs get our ice axes and poles and stuff out from on us and wait this thing out it's clear sky is already starting to roll in, so we'll get back to it. But that was wild. By far the closest strike I've ever had. T-cell. Fortunately that one's mostly striking over there. We're coming up through a pass and we're gonna see if there's enough coverage. Stay clear. Here's our first look at the stringer, the little snow stringer that you can see way out there. This is the first part of the ascent tomorrow, so plan is to go camp somewhere up in there. Yeah. 
We are now at 17.4 miles. Come up this huge long basin, very deceiving. Kind of looks like, I don't know, just a, a normal lake basin. But I think we've been going for like two, two and a half miles just on these lakes. But we're almost there. This is kind of the head, head of the lake. Nice river coming up. And then over here, um, you can kind of see right up, let's see. Right in there, right on the edge. See that one stringer of snow going up. That's that's the start for tomorrow. So we're gonna find a spot to camp somewhere in between here and there, the next mile. But you can definitely tell I haven't been hiking with a pack a lot. This pack's about it was about 41 pounds before I added some water, camera gear stuff. So probably sitting right around 50, and haven't been spending a lot of time with a pack on. So yeah, but feeling pretty good. Excited for tomorrow. Stars are out. climbed up about 2200 ish and so yeah now we get to drop down the other side to the glacier we are looking good on schedule though just starting to get first light here so by the time we get down to the glacier it'll probably be nice and bright so we can see what we're doing across Good to go. Lead the way, cowboy. Oh, yeah. Good. We came from way up there. That was a saddle we passed through this morning, down, across. So. Making a quick breakfast. Here's the head wall. Wasn't too bad at all. Yeah. bit sketchy for a fellow like me at least but we're almost there a couple hundred feet of elevation gain left who I don't like that that good better Oh. 
Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All that breathing paid off. Yes. Yes, good work, guys. Okay, guys. Yeah. Nice. Right. <laughs> Back to that saddle we go. Way down there, and then back up. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we made it back to camp. It's about 4 15 or something, so. 14 hours since we left uh, this morning. And yeah, it was a big day. About 10 miles and 6,000 feet of gain today, but pretty rough um, terrain the whole way. A lot of rocks, a lot of just slow moving. So we're pretty tired. So we're gonna eat some food and debate the idea of maybe gaining a few miles so that tomorrow is shorter for us on our way out. Currently, we we're about 17 and a half, 18 miles in. So, we got all that tomorrow. But for now, we need some calories, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we got about an hour of daylight left. We're gonna just start hiking and see how far we wanna go. That way, tomorrow we have a little bit less. But. This is an absolute beautiful, beautiful spot. I mean, look at this basin here. Sun just set right up over this. Where did I draw? And that's, that's where we climbed today, up over through that saddle and way beyond. So, Granite Peak was a success. Now for a beautiful hike back to the car.